So uh, it's been a little while since I've made a video, but I wanted to talk about something today. Um, more and more over the last few days, I guess, I've been thinking about going back to school. And eventually I think where I'm going to end up is at West Virginia University. They have a, a bachelor's degree program. Um, it'd be my second bachelor's program that I'd, that I'd be finishing. And then I probably end up um, getting my doctorate there as well. So I was thinking about it, and since I've been thinking more about school and been thinking more about uh, my time up in Morgantown at WVU, um, I thought I'd share uh, why I didn't go to WVU. Because uh, last fall semester, I actually came back to school to pursue a second bachelor's degree. Um, but I went to my backup school because... Uh, it was a better school than WVU for that same major, but basically um, I didn't go to w WVU even though I lived in Morgantown because WVU just could not get their shit together. I mean, and I know it sounds weird coming from um, a potential student saying, oh, well, you know, it was the university's fault I didn't go there. But uh, listen to my story here and, and you'll see that, that it definitely was. Um, so I graduated college in August of 2012. Um, I went to a junior Ivy League school. Um, my major was clinical psychology. Um, kind of a long story how I ended up with that major, but I enjoyed it. I just, you know, and I knew that I wanted to own my own business, so it really didn't matter what my degree was in. I wasn't too worried about there not being any jobs in psych. So uh, after that, I ended up becoming manager at Abercrombie & Fitch, and if you haven't watched my video about that yet, you should. It's long, but worth it. Um, also, um, I, I, I started as a manager in training. I worked my way up um, a couple ranks as different types of assistant manager, and one of those included um, transferring to Morgantown for promotion. So Morgantown is about three hours away from where I went to college, and... I had only been there, like, once before when I was, I don't know, I mean, like, six, something like that. I, I didn't remember anything about it. And I ended up moving up there for work and got involved with some organizations around town and things like that. Uh, but all in all, I was only there for four months. Because pretty much as soon as I got into Morgantown, um, I started having financial trouble and... Um, I hated this new group of people that I worked with at this store, and I um, had something else going on. I can't remember right now what was going on, but uh, uh, so I started applying for jobs, and then I wasn't finding any jobs, so I was like, well, maybe I should go back to school, and I started going through all these, all these things, um, trying to decide, do I want to do a bachelor's degree or a master's program, and what am I going to do it in, and where? Well, it made obvious sense to go to WVU because I was in Morgantown. So uh, one day on my lunch break, uh, I worked at the mall. I was a store manager. Um, they had, um, like in the food court, they had like this career day set up, except there was only maybe one employer, and all the other stands were colleges. So I was looking at going into petroleum engineering, and there are very few schools in the country that had that program. My alma mater has it, and WVU has it. So I went over and I talked to guys from the, uh, uh, I believe it's called the Russ College of Engineering. Uh, talked to them. Russ College of Engineering might not be right. I live in Athens, Ohio now, uh, where Ohio University is. That might be, that might be Russ College. But anyway, um, it was the whatever the College of Engineering is at WVU. So I went over. And I talked to them, and basically they're like, oh yeah, totally, like totally you'll have no problem getting into the petro, petro department because, um, you know, you're, um, you've already got a degree and everything. They did warn me, though, they're like, that program is full for two years. And I didn't really think anything about that at the time. I was just like, oh, well, that's fine. I have a lot of prerequisite classes I'm going to have to take anyway, and I know all my credits won't transfer over, so I didn't worry about it too much. Um, but but keep that in mind, that they told me that the program would be full for two years. So uh, they gave me the name of Dr. Samuel Amery, 
who is basically, I don't know what his title is, but he's like the dean of that department, of all of engineering, I believe. And they told me to contact that guy. Well, I didn't contact him right away. What I actually did is the promotional materials had the admissions website on it. And you're supposed to go on the admissions website and you create a profile and put all your information and stuff and then you and uh, then your advisor is supposed to contact you. Well, I didn't hear anything for like a month. I thought that was pretty unprofessional. And it wasn't like I could just go contact my professor or, or my advisor because I didn't know who I should talk to. They had advisors for like like I had just moved from Ohio. So do I ca talk to the counselor who works with people from Ohio? Do I talk to the one who works with people from West Virginia? Do I talk to the one for adult students? Do I talk to the one for engineering? Like, the way they have the whole thing set up on their website, it makes no sense at all, and you have no idea who you should be talking to. So no one contacted me, and um, I eventually um, just went down to the admissions office myself. And I talked to them, and I was like, hey, um, you know, I really want to do this. Here's my situation. They still wouldn't let me talk to a counselor or even tell me who my counselor would be. They didn't seem to know either. I was just talking to the receptionist. But again, she gave me Dr. Samuel Mary's um, email address. And then there was a guy, and I think his name was Russ something, but that might not be right. Um, she gave me his email address and said that he was the admissions person specifically in the engineering department. And she said that engineering does their own admissions. So, um, I asked her a little bit more about the uh, the two-year thing, and she said she didn't know. So anyway, I emailed this guy, and he gets back to me, I mean, immediately. Like, I sent this email out at probably 9.30, 10 o'clock at night, and within five minutes, he emailed me back. And I explained my situation. I was you know, like, you, you know, dear doctor, whoever, um, I, I already have moved to Morgantown. You know, I, ha I have a bachelor's degree. This is what I want to do. Um, please tell me how I go about this, because I've had a little, you know, trouble finding who I applied to and how I go about doing this. And he sent me back this, like, really, I mean, slightly rude, but not exactly rude email. It was just, like, really short. He basically said, um, you can't major in petroleum engineering. That requires a bachelor's degree, or a science-based bachelor's degree and the program's full for two years I would be happy to let you into and then he listed every single other engineering program that the college offers and he's like you have full admission to any of those if you want them but there was no explanation Cause there was no explanation as to why I was qualified to be in any of the the other um uh, engineering majors, but not in petroleum engineering specifically. And what really pissed me off about it is I went to a lot better undergraduate school than WVU. I went to a fucking Ivy League school. He knew this. You know, I attached my, um, I, I wrote it in the email and I attached my uh, resume saying, like, where I went to school and my, my degree was in. Well, I, my degree was in clinical psychology, and I know that psychology programs vary from school to school, but for WVU, who has one of the top five and sometimes the first, the top-ranked psychology program in the country, I think that they should know that psychology is a science. Um, it's, you know, it, the parent fields are biology and philosophy, it's half biology, half philosophy. Um, the entire program is based on mathematics and experimentation and interpreting data and writing research papers. Um, basically just the ignorance of this person who is in charge of admitting the students for this program, is, it just absolutely enraged me. Like, I, I don't think I've ever been so angry before 
Um, and I decided not to email him back at all for any kind of clarification because I was so pissed off about it, and I thought it would hurt my chances of getting in. Um, still, just thinking about that makes me just fucking furious. Um, so, my other issue with this is that this requirement, specifically for petroleum engineering, that I have a science-based bachelor's degree, I don't understand why it exists. Because it doesn't exist for any other program, and it they let freshmen into this program. They let transfer students into this program. But, you know, God forbid you already have graduated and have a degree, then fuck you. Like, it makes absolutely no fucking sense. I should be first in line to get into this program, not banned from it because I have more education. What? It, oh my god. So, anyway. Um, I didn't email the guy back because it pissed me off. So, then I emailed... Um, let's see, I emailed Dr. Samuel O'Mary, finally. Now, he was a professor at my un alma mater, at my undergraduate, and he had um, gone to WVU to head their department. I emailed him, I was like, Dr. O'Mary, here's what I've run into so far, could you please explain to me the requirement for this? Um, you know, and I made it clear to say that I was a student from Marietta College, and I was friends with his friend, um, who was the, the head guy for petroleum engineering at Marietta, no response at all. Just complete lack of respect. So, I don't know, I probably like waited a week or so. And then I finally talked to somebody, and I don't remember who it was. I might have gone down to admissions again. And they told me, well, the only way that you can meet with... Oh, I know what it was. I kept trying to go to Samuel and Mary's office, or this admissions dude, and they literally were never in their office. So... They told me that, well, the only way that you can actually get a meeting with somebody in the department is to um, take a tour of campus, and then the tour of campus includes uh, a meeting with somebody in the department that you're wanting to go into. So I was like, okay, this is total bullshit, but whatever. I, I'd been all over campus because I lived... Literally, I mean, I live on campus in student housing, um, but I had never taken a full tour, so I was like, okay, whatever, like, I, I might enjoy it. Um, well, ends up, I forget what, exactly what happened that day, but I didn't actually go to the tour, I just went to the, uh, the office setup time thing. Well, so I get into the engineering office, and it's just this dude that's a junior, like, he's a student. He has... I ran all the stuff by him. He absolutely knew nothing. I mean, they make it sound like you're going to meet with at least a professor in your department. And then, you know, it's this huge fuck you that it's like, oh, it's a undergraduate student. I'm like, dude, I've already graduated college. You literally know nothing about the program that you're even majoring in. And so finally, he went and got his boss, who was, like, the assistant to the admissions person. And I, I described the whole thing. And again, she had this attitude of, like, oh, well, clinical psychology is not a real degree. Like, we want a real science degree. And, like, and, like I, I really had it out with this woman. Like, I just, like, straight up confronted her. I was like, look, I don't know what WVU psych program is like but I know that it's one of the top ranked in the country and therefore is probably better than the one I went to. I was like, and I think it shows a real lack of respect for your colleagues that you put down the psychology program and say that it's not a science. Um, like, when you obviously don't know anything about it. So, um, and, you know, it makes your department look bad. So, anyway, she kind of backed off after a while, but she still held her position. And, um told me, she's like, well, I don't know why it's a requirement to have that degree, but it is, and then she elaborated a little more about the two-year thing, saying that the reason that they didn't have 
um, a two-year degree, or sorry, the, the reason they had a two-year wait to get into the program, and then she she's like, well, it might be a six- or ten-year wait. We don't really know. Because what it was is they were expanding the program, and while they were allowing freshmen and transfer students to enter the program, which they wouldn't explain to me as to why they got preference, but they while they were allowing them, they wouldn't let people who were what they call second degree applicants um, come in and do the program because they had just hired new faculty to expand the program, but it takes them a minimum of two years of doing research before they're allowed to teach classes. So what my basically, what I was waiting on is they were putting the freshmen and transfers with the experienced professors and anybody who was coming in as a second degree applicant they're like oh we'll give you the new professors that don't know anything but you also have to wait on them to do two years minimum of research before you can even take a class with them like fuck you WVU seriously fuck you um, and after getting into that argument with the uh, assistant admissions person um, in the office, and then kind of having it out with the student as well there, um, I basically just told him to fuck off, because I was like, look, I'm already admitted to my backup program for this, or my backup school for this program, You and of course they knew about it, it's a very, it, there's only like 10 schools in the country that have this major, and my alma mater is the, the top ranked one, um, and I was just like, Look, like, I got into a much better school than this that I just sent them an email and asked about the program, and they sent me a fucking admissions letter to the program. Like, that's how simple it was. And I don't understand why you have all of these policies and procedures that make zero sense, that there is no flexibility on, that there is nobody that I can talk to about it, no reason for... They, for the uh, policies to exist um, nobody seems to know anything about anything um, but yet it's screwing me over so that was you know at that point I made, made my decision I just like fuck you I'm going to Marietta College and that's how I ended up moving back to the mid Ohio Valley but they wanted to continue this even, even after I told them to go fuck themselves and I, and I mean that figuratively I had that attitude, but I didn't exactly say it like that, but I definitely had a condescending attitude of, I'm going to Marietta College. <laughs> like, so, they wanted to continue this whole process that they had drug on for three months of trying of me trying to get any information about their program, and they told me that I needed to talk to somebody. I don't remember who it was. It was a woman. Um, who was in the engineering department, but they're like, well, the only person who could make a decision to bend the rules would be this person, but, and they gave me, like, her, her office number and her email address, um, but they're like, well, but she's never in her office, and, and I took that to mean, like, not that she's not there frequently, but that, like, she almost never was in her office. And that she, they told me that she was pretty much impossible to contact. Um, I, when I left, I, I walked by her office. Sure enough, she wasn't there. Um, and then, uh, that was pretty much it for me. I didn't even contact her. Because at that point, I'm just like, fuck this place. Fuck Morgantown. I'm going back to the good school. And, <laughs> you know, so... Anyway, uh, you can tell, even after all this time, I mean, it's been about a year and a half, um, pushing two years since this happened, and I just started thinking about it again recently because, um, yeah, I, I'm, I'm thinking about, I'm probably going to be going back to school, uh, but, my God, like, how stupid can you possibly be? And, you know, Morgantown, I don't even know how many students WVU has, it's a big school, bigger, um, but, my God, if you're turning students away because you have these stupid rules that nobody knows why they exist and can't explain them, I mean, 
how much more profitable could your school be and how many more students could you have if you didn't just have everything set up in such a confusing way as far as admissions and have people in you know in your departments that just are not only unhelpful but it's like their goal is to keep students from going to the school it, like I don't know I don't I don't understand it I don't get it um, it's it's so so fucking stupid so anyway um, I might have another one of these rants because I'm basically um, I'm I have a bachelor's degree I'm going um, I'm going back to get a two-year degree because it turns out I can make a hell of a lot of money with it um, and then I'm probably going to go to WVU, finish a second bachelor's degree, and do my doctorate either there or, um, or I might go somewhere else, just depending on the program. But I'm at least going back there, and I'm probably, I'm going to get a, uh, an associate's degree now. So I have a degree in clinical psychology. I'm going to go get an associate's degree in physical therapy assistant, um, get my licensure for that, um, start making, you know, 50000 or so. Um, go to school part time to finish up my second bachelor's degree while I'm working. Um, I'll probably only have to do about two years because I think most of my stuff will transfer into it. Um, that'll be for exercise physiology, and then um, af after my exercise physiology degree, I'm probably going to get my doctorate of physical therapy. It's actually not that long. Two years for the for the um, oh. For the two-year degree, um, probably two years to finish the bachelor's, and then th three years about for the doctorate. But the good thing about doctorate programs is you go for free, so don't have to worry about paying for that. So anyway, guys, I'm going to stop bitching from now, and I'm going to go to the gym. Um, you know, I have tomorrow off, too, and i got a couple days off this week for the new year, so you might see some more videos up here. Uh, maybe I'll make a video about going back to school and, and all that. But uh, if you guys have any experiences with WVU, um, I've not heard anybody else talk about getting, like, totally fucked by them. Um, so if you have any stories, um, or even if you didn't get screwed, just talk about your experiences, um, what happened, and let me know. But if you are looking for the Petroleum Engineering Program, my recommendation, don't. Um, go to Marietta College instead. So, um, until next time, guys, um, make sure to like the video, um, subscribe at the top of the video, and also, um, I'm going to be posting, um, some more genealogy stuff later, if that's why you guys just subscribed to my channel. I might have that up in a few days. Alright, peace.